Hey guys, welcome back. So this is level three, plant one security challenge lab. Let's start. Today we'll try to complete this hardening the default uh, default GK cluster configuration. So let's start it. Okay, it will take a little time. Now it is ready. Copy this password. Test it here. And uh, click on agree and continue. Okay, no problem. That's it. And, uh, that much. Okay, this is our view. Objective. And setup for the setup, start the lab with private browser, sign in with the given credentials in the left side. Yeah, this is now. Let's activate the cloud cell. So just click here on the top right icon, and uh, now our cloud cell will be ready. Okay, so this is a little bit time consuming work. So let's copy code. Let's copy this one. Paste it here. Press enter key. Click on authorize. Okay, so let's copy another code. Paste it here. Press enter key. That's it. Now create a simple cluster. So for this, copy this code. Paste it here. Press enter key. Now copy this one. Press it here. Press enter. And uh, let's wait. This will take little bit time to be ready. The cluster required little bit time. So let's wait. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it is done. So let's. Okay. It takes a little bit, yeah. Just took around two to three minutes, not much more than that. Copy it, paste it here. Okay, this is it done. Okay, let's check. Okay, good, everything is fine. Now, for this, tax around a Google Cloud SDK port or Cloud. Okay, just copy it. And paste in this console, press enter, and let's wait. Let's wait a little bit. This will take a few minutes to complete. If you get timeout, please run this command once again. Okay, let's wait and see. So, guys, uh, this is timeout. So, let's run it once again. good but if you well, need to repeat the same steps just repeat it unless you get this uh, root at that G cloud uh, something like this it may take few minutes it may take few minutes for current to be started then command prompt to be displayed if you don't see the command prompt type and press enter key okay so just wait a little bit now we should run this code here just press enter key and this is done and now copy this second line of code and paste it here press enter nothing to change and now copy this finally keep this cell inside the pod okay, for this paste it here and uh, good we insert the same pod on the following command. Okay, copy this and paste it. Press enter key. That's it. Perhaps the most sensitive data. Oh, and let's do something. Okay, to see the potential cause, copy it and paste it here. Okay, therefore, in any other different situation. Run this following call command to out. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, good. 
सो नाउ यू ऑथेंटिकेट इसको सिस्टम फाइल सो फॉर दिस कॉपी दिस कोड कॉपी परफेक्टली एंड प्रेस इंटर की सॉफ्टली सो इट सीज फॉर होस्ट पाथ इज क्रिएटेड दिस इज डन कॉपी दिस एंड पेस्ट इट प्रेस इंटर की इंटर फॉर द सर्वर पॉट जी क्लाउड नॉट फॉर्म ओके It says interpret there is error. I think we need to wait or what? Run this command once again. It says configured. It must start this run. Okay, the G Cloud Pod. Until the starting state. Okay, let's run and check this. Nothing found. No problem. Just ignore this. Now let's copy this third code. Try to see this. Yeah. Got this output. But still, there is no output for this code. No problem. Let's check our progress. Good. So if you do any little bit mistake for this. particular at check point that may affect for the other check point too but let's see explore and compromise the underlying host so for this copy this code paste it here okay good let's run switch to the port cell root dash system let's to switch it let this go So this is the root cell. It was simple command. The port now is actually root cell. You can now able to do the flow. Run the token with flow step. Right. Let's try. Where are the IDs? The ID is nothing. No any status. What is so? Wait. Let me read the documentation first. Okay. So finally, uh, it says that uh, it should show what not saying. I don't know why. Just run this code, guys. I don't know. Hmm. Just search. See this here. This may be the syntax or something. Okay. I'll just ignore those simple commands. The root cell you can now able to do the flowing. Okay. Just leave this. Let's exit. Just to type and just exit now. Okay, now let's try this code. Code hot, what is deleted? Okay, so this host path is deleted. So we have done up to here. Okay, why not? It is just getting out from there. No problem. We will continue from here. Okay, deploy a second node. Okay, now we are going to deploy. So we just deleted the first one. Now we we'll deploy the second one. So how to deploy it? Node the legacy in part where it is written. Set number hundred thousand. Set number one thousand two. A new one, something like this. Setting it automatically. Be enabled. The next one will 
this okay copy this and paste it here press enter key okay so the next uh, pool is i mean pod is ready mm. we deploy so let's wait a little bit गूगल डेवलपर Okay guys, so this is done now. We have just uh, run this script on our console and let's see. Next. So now we will deploy a blocked pod that mount the host file. So what is this? It is necessary to create another separate user account to interact with the cluster validated with the port security environment policy okay so first of all we have to um, create a service account i think this is a new service account so copy this code paste it here and next command to grant the permission okay copy this paste it here okay good now copy this code and paste it here press enter key okay so this is done now copy this code first second third one third code press enter key good so now copy this code and paste it here press enter key that's it now copy this one code and uh, press enter key and uh, now 
finally we will copy this uh, sixth uh, code and press enter key okay let's wait you from the server forbidden you know while creating the stdin port what path is forbidden port security unable to admit the port why it is not able to admit the port error okay this will validate the following error okay so now copy this code and press enter key so now it is created now now let's copy this final code paste it here press enter key that is done and let's check progress yeah progress is correct so that's it for this lab see you in the next video guys and that is the final video of this challenge security submit it no, don't forget to log out your account and close it so guys we have still one day is still remaining and uh, i will upload this video very soon and there is one more information that guys uh, anyone who, who has just uh, completed uh, any of the level suppose suppose you have completed this level one or you have not completed this level or you just completed this level 2 there is only 8 labs inside this level 2 then that's okay no problem uh, again quick lab will open the seat after the end of this lab event i mean that after 16 two days 14 up i mean tomorrow after tomorrow or day after tomorrow they are going to open uh, this quick lab event uh, some limited seat so guys just keep your eye on the url i will provide the url in the link i and uh, just uh, bookmark that link and uh, continue watching that uh, link you will get uh, some benefit you will get the seat definitely and in that period just enroll the remaining lab one and this lab will be counted your valid one so that much see you in the next video of this third